Hey guys, it's me again, AT Mac Math 18 here. Um, as you saw by the title, this is going to be a video about how to do TTMs for soccer. Um, this video is for Diego Rangel. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce the last name, man. Um, he wanted a video about this because he's always wanted to do soccer TTMs. And so, yeah, um, just basically want to explain like how to ship, what to ship, and everything else in between. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, um, what you need is stamps, a letter, and two envelopes, um, depending on the size that you use. Um, I use the normal size envelopes that you usually get, but sometimes I use smaller ones, um, let me see. I have all my return, these are all my return envelopes, so if I can find an example. Like these, oh, nope, that's not it. Here's one, um, like one of these size envelopes. So like they're a little bit shorter than the normal envelopes, as you can tell. Um, so yeah, I use those. Um, and basically, how to um, ship, I've gotten a bunch of TTMs, like Wills Thompson, Andy Greenbaum, these are just all soccer ones, Special 2, Jeff Park, Mova Wine, or Wynn, Sean Franklin, Shaheel and Ababa, and no more Cummings. I've got more, uh, but they're in my set. But usually, all the like all the soccer players will sign, except for big names like Landon Donovan. Um, that's probably the only one I can name that probably will not sign. Um, everyone else should be able to sign. Um, like some well-known players like Matt Reese, he'll he signs. I'm pretty sure uh, Nick Romando. Um, Breck Shea used to sign before he got transferred to Stoke. Um, I know you're in L.A., but Sean Franklin, he's a great turnaround guy. Um, I got mine returned in eight days, but since you live in L.A., you should probably get in, like, a less than that. But, um, yeah. Um, for MLS teams, um, I usually do one stamp on each envelope, and I use the Forever Stamps. And inside, I usually include a letter with the other envelope folded up. So inside, I will fold the envelope of the stamp up there. And that will be inside with the cards. I usually send uh, two to three, but I might be sending more. Because um, a lot of players will sign multiples. And to get the address, I always send to Stadium. So what you can do is um, go onto a web one of their a club's website and go to contact info and it should give you the stadium address with it so um yeah that's basically it for um mls teams um now for international uh you basically do the same thing um but for shipping wise um you can either use international stamps which, um, I don't know the name of it, but it's like a stamp with a little airplane on the corner. It should be the left corner. And that's, uh, international mail. And each country has different amounts of postage. So I know, like, Europe, I think, it's either, I think it's England, it's 52 cents a stamp, I think. There might be more than that. I'm not sure. But yeah, I usually do that. I just take the package to, um, UPS and they usually send it. And for return, sometimes they might do their own postage. I know Mario Bellatelli does his postage, but I, but I still haven't met from him. But there's this, I forget what it is. I'll put the link down below with the name of it. Um, it's a little card that gives them like money to put postage on your package that you ship along with your package. I think it's $2.00. And it should be able to cover shipping for it. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for it. Um, I'll leave all the links to the information that you need down below. Um, I should be having a package coming in. Um, if you guys don't want to know why this video is coming up early, because I got home from school early today. It's like 12.30 right now. Um, I asked my dad to pick me up, so that's why I'm home early. And so, yeah, guys, um, that's basically it. So, um, later.